Hello 3D printer peeps. I'm here today with a cool project for Mother's Day. It is a mom photo frame. I am going to be working with the Bamboo Lab P1P in Bamboo Studio. However, you could also follow along in Cura and print it on the printer of your choice. For this model, we are going to be using four plates. So I'll go ahead and add them right now. We will be working with a model from printables user K makes stuff. Please go ahead and download this model directly from him. And since this model is lacking a stand, we are going to be downloading a stand from Thingiverse user Giant Brian. Please go ahead and download the model directly from him. Go ahead and bring your models one onto each plate. And of course, the photo stand. You will notice there are two versions of this photo stand. One says 5.5, one says 3.0. It appears that the size difference is almost indistinguishable. So I'm just gonna go ahead with the bigger one and use the one that says 5.5 millimeter. Once we're here, go ahead and center all these models onto their plates using the arrange button on each individual plate. Don't use the arrange button up here as that's a global project arrange button, which will arrange the entire project and may do silly things you don't want, such as this. While it may be possible to print all this on one plate, I find it a lot more safe to go ahead and print one per plate. Therefore, if one fails or you need to make a change, you didn't waste your time printing all these models at once. Now we need to decide the orientation to print these models and which face to print them on. Looking at the O, you will notice there are overhangs that would require supports. I don't want to have to worry about these supports, so we're going to go ahead and print it on its face, which will also give us a nice, smooth, matte surface from the textured PEI plate and remove the worry of a top surface print. Clicking on the model, you'll then click on Lay on Face and click on the face. You'll now see that what used to be overhang is now face up and we can print this model with no supports at all. Moving over to the M's, we are going to do the opposite. We want the M's to also have their top surface be the bed and have that nice matte textured PEI look to match the photo frame. To do that, we are going to have to turn these over. Clicking on the M, we will click on lay on face and over here, click on Lay on Face and do the same. One thing you will notice is that these little clips are now overhangs. It's okay, they're very small, I'm not really worried about it. However, we are gonna make sure that the supports are small and weak and come off easily. We are going to choose Snug. Now you might think that Snug is tighter and stronger than default or grid, but it's not it is actually slimmer. So we will click on snug and we will go ahead and click slice plate just to see what it looks like. You'll see it's a nice small weak support with a little support interface right there, meaning these should come off easily and cleanly so that we can attach them to the photo frame right here without any problem at all. The last thing we wanna look at is our Z seam. So move over to quality and you'll see right now it's set to aligned. I don't terribly mind how this looks. There's almost no visible Z seam at all, but I'm going to go ahead and try back because I don't quite like that I can't see where it thinks the Z seam is going and I'm afraid it might show up on the face somewhere. You'll see right here, back is placing it on the corner of this M. I don't mind that at all, that looks fine. So we'll go ahead and work with that. You'll see the other M is doing the same. And over here on the photo frame itself, we're gonna get a little seam up here and a little seam in the corner there. That's perfect, no problem. And then again, let's take a look over here. This is our stand. I don't mind it on the corner of this back piece. Other sections are hidden within the pattern, in the back and behind these front surfaces meaning the stand won't show the Z seam at all. So this is great. We're gonna go ahead and work with this. Before printing, go ahead and check your various settings to make sure you don't have anything silly set, like print prime tower, 
we are only using one color so i don't believe the prime tower will do anything but as force of habit i like to uncheck it and go ahead and turn off your brim as we do not need a brim and we do not want the printer deciding to add one for us click the plate of your choice and print it i am using creality red pla plus you can go ahead and use whatever color you decide however don't forget you might want to go ahead and use a different color for the stand than the mom you may even want to print multiple colors for mom i'm doing mom in red and i'm doing my stand in a color i haven't determined yet let's go ahead and send these to the printer Okay, so here are all our parts. Let's go ahead and assemble this. The first thing we need to do is remove those tiny supports on the ends. I am simply going to use my snipper and just grab it and pinch it off. Once you have your supports removed, just do a little test fit. The official instructions call for four screws. However, I think it would be easier to go another route. I would consider simply gluing it together with E6000 or better yet, 3D welding with a 3D pen, which is how I am going to do it. Turn the model over. And you will see how the pieces line up with the hole. If you trust this model to withstand screws, by all means, give it a try. However, some E6000 here, 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 and here will likely do the trick. But if you really want the best option, a 3D pen is the way to do it. Simply hold the piece down and press the button on your 3D pen. Do the same on the other side. And there you have it. Mom, go ahead and test fit on your fancy stand. It fits just right and it's time to add our fancy photo. What better to add than a 3D rundown photo of myself. If your photo is freshly printed, you may want to consider pressing it between something flat and heavy to let it straighten out. And you may want to consider a piece of cardboard backing or foam core from the dollar store behind this photo. In the interest of time, I'm just gonna do it as it is. Using a simple piece of masking tape so that it can be easily removed, I'm going to tape it to the back of the model. And for the big reveal, our finished product, a 3D printed photo frame for mom that says mom. This is a really awesome project that can be done in a single day. It looks great. Mom will love it. And what a coincidence that a 3D printed stand already exists from another maker that fits absolutely perfect as if it was meant for this model.
So there it is, a custom handmade gift guaranteed to melt mom's heart because it's 2023 and you're a talented 3D printer. So mom expects more than a cheesy card from the dollar store, some cheap supermarket chocolates, and a bundle of flowers that are gonna die next week. Make her something special, make it say mom, put one of her favorite pictures in and get it done. I'm Greg Adventure, your instructor on 3DRundown.com and saving your Mother's Day with this awesome 3D model was today's adventure.